Over on the right side of the screen, we have several things. And just, just click on Graphics under the Window menu to bring this up. Lots of stuff over here if you're on the Expert tab. You can choose Type, Activity, Color, Event, Mood. Different ways of looking at these things. I normally use Type. We have Backgrounds in here, Frames, Graphics, Shapes, Text. We can show everything all at one time. Now all this stuff can be used in all of your artwork. If you're working in one of the creations, you can use this stuff and access it right from the creation. If you're not working in a creation and you're just, you're just working with an actual file, you then access it like we just did here. Window menu, just pull up graphics and you can find it all right there. So let me show you both ways of doing this. I'll first open up one of our files here. Now we're in the pictures folder. And as you recall, we had this airplane book that we did, we had the greeting card that we did. And these are all project files, PSE, Photoshop Elements. These are project files. And the files for the project files are contained in their own folder. So here's the Airplane 3 project file. Inside of the folder are the Photoshop files that make up that project. Basically, the different pages are in here. So you want to have the most le greatest level of control, come in and actually edit the Photoshop file itself. We'll take a look at that in the next, or a little later on in this video. We'll start off with just the backgrounds. Let's go to the greeting card one. I'll double click on this. Now I'm opening up the project file. There's our project file. And when you're in the project file in here, it has kind of its own layout, as we've seen previously. And then just at the bottom, let me just pull the screen up a little bit here. There's a button for graphics right there. Click on that graphics button, and you then can access the different graphics over here from that button. Click on that little arrow, and you can see all of the sections in here. We have graphics, frames, and backgrounds. Now, if you do it this way, it's going to show you things that match the style of this look. This is kind of a theme here, kind of a travel theme. So we have different travel-related graphics. We have different travel-related frames in here that you can work with. There's our graphics again. Now to use these, just grab one of these things and drag it onto what you want to use. There's putting it onto that image just like that. Let's just grab this one. I'll put it onto this image right there. So I've put in a, a few graphics. There's these frames onto those. Let's do a graphic down below. I'll grab these maps, just drag those up and onto our postcard. And give it a second to actually do that for us. There we go. So there's the graphic. We can change the size of that if we want to. Just grab the corner. You can actually resize these things. So they're, they're stacked, of course, they're overlapping in this because I can change the sequence on that. And that'll be our range right down here. So there you go. That's how you can use those. I can change the background also as well. Let's just go up here to the background. There's our backgrounds. Just grab a new background and drag it onto your file. And it will then automatically change that background for you. There it is. And if you're working in a project, it will change all the backgrounds for you in your whole file. It will change everything at once. There's the original one right there. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to come in and customize these things using these different sets. Now again, for a complete control, if you want to have access to all of the backgrounds and all of the frames and all of the graphics, you have to be working inside of the individual files, the Photoshop files, as opposed to working in the Photoshop Elements project file. So I'm going to save this and let's open up one of the regular files and then we'll take a look at working with these directly where we have access to everything. So let's go up here to File, Open and let's go into our airplane one up here. So here's the airplane project and again that would show us backgrounds and frames and graphics that match that theme that we did. But for access to everything, let's go up here into the folder and let's open up the file directly, the PSD file directly. 
There we go. Now once we're here, we can use any of these things inside of this file that we want. Let's just scroll down a little bit, see what we've got down here. And those are the little blue triangles. Those are online. They'll have to be downloaded. It takes a minute for those to download. So I'll come down and find something which is already on the system here. We'll use this one, maybe that one. That's kind of fun. Just drag it and place it on your image just like that. And it simply changes that whole background for you. So it's that easy to use those backgrounds, just drag and drop. If you want to use one of these with a little blue triangle on it, so I want to use this one. I'll just drag that over. And you can see here it's downloading that from online. So if it has a blue triangle, then you'll have to give it a moment to download. You also, of course, have to have a currently active internet connection to do that. So that's now been downloaded. Once it's been downloaded, notice that little blue triangle goes away. So we now have access to this whenever. Let's just scroll up see if there's anything else we want to try real fast here. But as you can see, it, it, it's easy to do these backgrounds. And as you can see on the right-hand side, if we're working with the actual Photoshop file, the PSD file, as opposed to the PSE file, we have access to all of the backgrounds that are available, not just the ones that have been chosen for that particular theme. So it gives you much greater control, much greater freedom over your design by working at the actual PSD level, the actual Photoshop level. Okay, let me just show you that again real fast. File open. Now I've been saving these in the default pictures folder. That's where it goes automatically. So if you want to work on the whole project file at once, change all your backgrounds at once for your whole project file, open up the PSE file, and that gives you that limited set of backgrounds, frames, graphics, and so forth. If you want to have access to the full complete set of graphics, your backgrounds, your frames, whatever, then you want to find the folder that matches that file name, in this case up here, and then work on the individual files. This also, by working on individual files, it allows you to have different backgrounds for different files or different graphics for different files and so forth. You have far more control working with the PSD file. Okay, let's now move on to the next video and take a little closer look at those frames.